What's going on guys? Fun with Knives back again. Uh, sorry I've been away for a little while. I had lots of school stuff to accomplish and as some of you may know I just got back from my little Vegas trip for my 21st and that was a freaking blast. Um, but I'm back to talking knives of course and I have lots of content planned for you guys and it includes some of these new knives I got. And I was going to do uh, an individual unboxing video on all of these and I figured that you guys would probably rather watch uh, reviews, discussions, comparisons, more informative stuff than just these unboxings. So I think a mega video of some of these new knives of, you know, just my initial impressions will be a little bit more interesting. And, you know, of course, if you want to watch it or not, you know, it's just one video. Uh, so some of these were birthday gifts. Some of them I just recently purchased. And I'm pretty excited about all of them but one. And we'll talk about that one. Uh, but something to address before I get into giving you my impressions on these knives uh, a little while back, I said that I would uh, do a giveaway when I reached a thousand subscribers on YouTube and a thousand followers on Instagram, and it's happened. It happened, I think, over the weekend, and I am so stoked about it, guys. I can't, I can't believe it that I got a thousand people on two different social media outlets uh, that care, you know, to see what I have to post, which is pretty freaking awesome, in my opinion. In fact, I've been telling everybody who will listen uh, just how mildly successful my uh, YouTube channel is. Uh, not that they care. No one likes to hear about knives unless you're a knife person. Uh, but I am really excited about it, guys. And no, this is not the giveaway video where you guys can get entered in and everything. I'll do that here soon because what I've ordered uh, is still in transit to me. And I was thinking about giving away some of my own knives or, you know, doing multiple or doing an EDC setup. And... I decided on what I was going to get, and sorry there, bumped the camera, and I am really excited to give, away, give it away, and I'm going to leave it a secret for now, since you guys are uh, intrigued, uh, but I think you're going to be pretty excited when I show you what I'm giving away, and I was thinking about, you know, reaching out to some companies or, you know, some, you know, whoever that would lend me or at least give me some things to give away, and I was just like, no, I haven't done that in the past, I won't do that, I'll just buy it with my own money makes it a little bit more special and you guys know I like giving away knives and gears so I hope it brings you a lot of ex excitement in however many days it takes for me to post that video uh, but that being said let's get into the new knives and gear I got first one here we're gonna talk about is the SOG Gambit birthday present uh, as you guys know I'm not super into SOG after I had the SOG Aegis just seemed overpriced and a little bit lacking in fit and finish uh, so I figured I would go the fixed blade route and see if Saw could remedy my opinion at least. Here's a little package. Gambit, obviously Kravit in styled knife. And then Digigrip textured handle, curved sheep's foot blade. I think we'll call this more of a hawkbill shape, but lifetime warranty. That's always nice. And it's part of their tactical section, which is cool. Uh, here's some more info. Satin polished SOG sharp blade. I sure hope it's sharp. Tactical finger ring for safety. I won't bore you guys with all the specs on these. This will just be a, a quick video, I'm hoping, since we have quite a few things to talk about. But this is 7CR17 MOV steel. So I think this is my first dedicated karambit kind of knife. Uh, definitely uh, more suited to self-defense, uh, which I'm definitely not going to talk about or pretend like I know everything about. Uh, but I definitely think this thing would be pretty vicious in that capacity. But I did run it through a little bit of EDC testing just today. Um, and I actually liked it. I like the blade shape. It's unique, but it's functional. Hollow ground. There's your glass reinforced nylon handles with the little SOG logo and blaze in there. Pretty cool grip. I mean, it's different. It's kind of terraced in 3D, con or not contoured, 3D machined at least. Not bad. Big finger hole there. Easily get your fingers into that. You know, maybe not in gloves. I mean, lots of room for me. But if you got big hands and you're wearing gloves, I don't know. Uh, but one thing I do like is how long the handle is. You can get a four finger grip without even using the ring. And then you can choke back on it. You can see here, nice jimping on the top, full tank construction. Of course, <coughs> I apologize guys. I'm getting sick now that fall's coming around, which kind of sucks. But uh, the one thing I'm most excited about this knife is the sheath. It's just a plastic material, but it snaps in nice. Has a loop over clip that is 360 
uh, degree rotatable and then you can flip it to the other side which is awesome I carried this once I put it in my waistband attaches to my belt and it just disappears this thing's slim but you can access it with either hand you know and it comes out nice and easy which I was a little bit worried about uh, but the retention is good there's no rattle in there whatsoever so pretty impressed with a SOG fixed blade as of right now so I'll let you guys know how I feel in the upcoming weeks uh, something else I am very excited about is this knife the Srade SCHF 16 uh, there's all sorts of videos on YouTube about this knife and pretty much everyone seems to like it and I've had good experiences with Srade in the past and here's a knife I have been into neck knives as of recently and I thought this one was gonna be a good candidate so we see here G10 handle scales I believe this is 8 CR 13 MOV steel I didn't look up any specs like I said um, might be like 9 CR 18 or something I'm not sure but I'll definitely include that in my review we have a thermoplastic sheath here performed similar to kydex some grommet holes I'll switch this after paracord of course uh, but nice retention in there you can hear it pop things not going anywhere uh, it's the perfect size guys it really is it feels great in my hand it's like a an EDC fixed blade uh, perfection as far as size goes I like the clip point blade I think it's hollow ground black coating and you can see a little, little landing troll uh, the one thing I am worried about is the thickness here it feels good in hand but this is a neck knife and it does have a little bit of weight to it um, but we'll see how I like that thickness once I'm actually carrying it around and that weight's gonna be an issue but so far I'm really digging that SHF 16 in fact that might be uh, my new favorite neck knife as of right now of course honeymoon phase you know um, and here's the knife I am not excited about this is my first condor tool and knife um, I just recently heard of the company maybe six months ago or so and uh, they make a lot of more budget oriented outdoor tools you know they're all about bushcraft and that kind of stuff and I believe this is a new design at least for this year and I was pretty excited to get my hands on it this little knife comes in this big ass box for whatever reason uh, but this is the condor kickback now it comes uh, wrapped in this desert tan paracord I like the color and everything I just didn't really like the wrap so I'm just gonna show it to you you skeletonized <coughs> sorry again guys man uh, here is the product catalog because we're really trying to push some models on you I guess I don't really see a whole lot of companies doing this anymore but here's everything they make and here's the knife so uh, the reason I like this knife is because it reminded me of the Azula just a little bit I know it's a little bit smaller it's cheaper it's made out of a little bit different materials uh, but you can see there's some similarities there uh, close to the same size I mean both neck knives both black coated carbon steel uh, I was excited about it and holy crap was this thing a letdown uh, th these are just my initial impressions of course this might this knife might grow on me but let's talk about the blade first you can see here pretty attractive I mean I think it's gonna feel really nice in hand with some paracord um, sharpened swedge but it, I mean it's a false edge but it is sharpened condor right there black coating looks all right except when it's close to the edge it's kind of uneven how they applied it on there and the grind is even more uneven El Salvador just two little skeletonized holes for you to throw some paracord through and then you ring of course um, I like the size of the knife for sure it's nice and thin it's super lightweight uh, but that grind guys is just messed up I mean uh, it's wavy and their choice to make this this strong of a saber grind on this little of a knife uh, really lends it to be uh, a piercer and not a whole lot more um, because it, it's just not it's a terrible slicer uh, it's got fairly thick blade stock for how little it is and then your grind starts right about here um, so you're not really traveling any distance to get down to an edge so it's very thick in fact I pulled this knife out and I'm like oh that's got a really sharp tip let's see how well that penetrates real quick and you know that was it I was just kind of messing around with it and I bent the tip just a hair I don't know if you guys can see that but I was like holy crap you know this is kind of cheap steel I think this is 1070 or something um, but one thing that's really impressive to me is this edge nice and sharp I mean there's nothing didn't even take a, a bite a little bit of skin this thing is uh, a spoon with a nice sharp tip that bends so that's not even the worst part I could deal with that guys I could sharpen it you know and all that kind of stuff into the sheath at first glance this looks pretty decent 
I think it's a kydex -y kind of material. Um, comes with a bead chain, of course. Neck knife. Snaps into place. I'm like, huh, all right. Um, this thing is ridiculously easy to take out. So much so that I will never carry this around my neck because it's just dangerous. This thing is just going to fall out. As you're walking, as you're jumping around, whatever you're doing, this thing's going to fall right out of the sheath and hopefully you don't step on it or land on it. Um, some other quality control that you guys can see here. Uh, there's your condor knife or maybe your condo knife and your ondor knife. Even their like heat stamping on the sheath sucks. Um, yeah, the fit and finish on this knife is just not good whatsoever. Yes, it was only $22. Was I expecting it to be as good as a $50 or $60 Azula or Topps Tybo? No, not necessarily, but I could deal with most of the issues that this thing has other than the sheath. I mean, there's not a, an easy way to fix that unless I want to heat gun that sheath and kind of mold it myself, but um, a knife that costs as much that I'm not that psyched about, I'm not going to put that much effort into. Uh, so this is either going to leave the collection or just go in a bag somewhere. You know, maybe it'll grow on me. Maybe I'll, I'll find a use for it. But as of right now, not super stoked on the Condor kickback. And I'm going really long here, guys. Let's speed this up a little bit. Uh, here's my new Leatherman. I got this for my birthday as well. I'm super excited about it because I only have two Leathermans before this one. This comes with your yellow and black box. You do get the full-size tool user guide and I've been really trying to carry a Leatherman a lot more um, they're extremely useful and in fact I find myself needing a Leatherman a lot um, I've been carrying this one uh, a very old one that my dad gave me and I'm in love with it because I recently disassembled my wingman and I'm going through the process of cleaning that damn thing and, and putting it back together so this is really nice to see I got a new Leatherman and this is very similar to the wingman but just a little bit better this is the sidekick and it does come with your extra little carabiner, bottle opener, pocket tool, which is pretty cool. Throw that on a backpack or something. And I do have the nylon sheath. Um, I do have a leather sheath for that one, and I wanted to kind of feel which one I, I like better. So we'll see. Uh, but this one, the main reason I want, I wanted a sidekick right here. Spring action pliers, so helpful if you're going to whip out your Leatherman and use it. And something else. A plain edge blade. Awesome. Leatherman does way too many uh, parsley serrated blades. I'd rather have the full saw like this and the, maybe I can get that out of there, the plain edge blade. So this thing has already seen a little bit of use and I haven't technically unboxed it yet. So I'm excited to start really carrying that thing. And the one I'm most excited about is this, the Cold Steel GI Tonto. Um, I will start by saying this is probably the best $18 I've ever spent. This huge knife, this very capable knife, cost $18 on Amazon. It's crazy. Uh, I watched tons of YouTube videos on this thing and I was reading up on it and I was just like, how do I not have one of those? So, there you go. Big old Tonto. Came razor sharp. The coating is perfect. The grind is nice and even everywhere. Nice acute tip. I don't I don't dig the double hand guards. I'll probably just kind of dremel that one off or do something with that one. I mean a lot of people buy these knives just to modify them, which I'll probably do. Forward finger troil, polypropylene handles, secure X sheath that actually snaps into place, holds it really nice, and there is no that's the little snap you're hearing there. No blade rattle. Awesome. And there's your button snap for for your closure. I mean, $18 for this thing, do I really have a use for it? No, not necessarily, but I mean, these things can serve, I mean, seven inches of blade, five inches of handle. I could serve as a throwing knife, bug out bag knife, just a beater knife. Because honestly, I don't care if I broke this thing in half, which I mean, I don't think I ever could. I've seen people stand on these things and pound them through car doors, uh, but I don't care if it, you know, it loses a tip or it gets rusty because it is a carbon steel. Don't even mind, it's $18. In fact, I might be buying a lot of these uh, just to mess around with stripping coatings and, and that kind of stuff. So uh, those are my new new, tool, new tools, guys. Sorry, it's been a long video. Uh, but thanks for tuning in. Of course, I am still here. I, I know I took a, like a week off, but I'll be trying to post a little bit more regularly and stay tuned for the giveaway, of course. That's coming up. And yeah, that's it, guys. And remember, have fun with your knives.